number here is equal 7.5 units every first hour. So if you have a dilution rate of 0.75, the two have the same growth rate. What I did here, um, just to show you something else you can do in MATLAB, is Okay, you see this command? So this creates a vector, S, that starts at 0 and ends at 10 and increases by units of 0.1, so you know, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. I'm, okay, so I did that, bam. And then I did this. If you look at this command here, what I'm trying to do is I want to create a plot of the two growth rates as a function of substrate, and you just saw the plot, and you see that they cross somewhere, which I'll explain in a minute. So to do this, I created a vector s that looks like this. Okay? So again, this is a vector that starts at 0, ends at 10, and then goes by increments of 0.1, so I can get a nice smooth curve. Then I calculated um, the growth rate for the type x-type cells for each of these substrate concentrations and put it into a big vector called mu x. To do this, you have to do this trick. I don't know if you've seen this before. See this dot divide? That means I want to do it element by element. Okay. So if you just use divide, you'll get an error because it'll think S is a vector. But if you put this dot divide, then it does it element by element. So it calculates a mu for S equals 0, another mu for S equal. And then it creates a big vector called mu of X. And then you can do the same thing with um, mu of Y. To do this, I had to specify all these values in, in MATLAB because if you try to do this outside of, in, I mean, try to do this in MATLAB, they won't know what mu, of, mu x of max is because that's only specified in Simulink. So you actually have to, had to specify it in MATLAB to do this. And then I have another, hold on. So I have this command, mu x, that's that. And then I got a mu y. That's that. I suppress the output because I'm not interested in dumping 101 values to the screen. And but you can always look up in your workspace here, which given the screen you can barely see. And you, you can look and see if you've been successful, right? I look at new X and I say, oh good, it's there. It exists. That's good. And it's the right dimension, right? It should have calculated 101 values. It's good. And it did. And then finally I issued this plot command. So it just plots mu X versus S and also mu Y versus S because they're the same dimension. And then I just, I want to call the other one as magenta. Magenta is one of my favorite MATLAB colors, okay? And so then when you're done, you get this plot here. So this is the growth rate of each type of cell as a function of the substrate concentration. Um, X is the blue line. Uh, magenta is the, sorry, Y is the magenta line. And so what you've been able to find, even though you don't know it, is you found a dilution rate that when you operated this reactor gave you a substrate concentration that was exactly at this value where they have the same growth rate, which looks to be 3. That's why it worked. If the dilution rate was too small, then you, let's see, dilution rate's too small, um, therefore the flow is small. Um, and then you got, as I recall, the blue one dominated, right? That was the first cell type. So in other words, if the dilution rate was too small, you were over here somewhere, and then the blue, which is X, outcompeted the Y, which is magenta. If you were too great a dilution rate, the substrate concentration was over here, and then the Y dominated the, the X. Okay, so you were able to find... So, it, like, if you were... Let's say you had an assignment like this, we probably ask you to do this. This is a logical thing to do, right? Like, I found a dilution rate that works. Why? Because it must be the, dilution, the growth rates are the same at that dilution rate. So it might be, like, good to show a plot like this. But the main thing I wanted to show you is that, you know, that division, that, that element by element calculation, you have to put a dot. Like, if you want to do element by element multiplication, you put a dot asterisk or divide dot. Otherwise, you'll get an error. Just to prove that to you, and then we're done is that if you accidentally decided that you were going to do this, right, and you didn't put that dot in there, crap, what did it do? It created a single, oh, it just created a single value now. I wonder what value that's in you. See, it was supposed to be a big vector, and now it's just created a single number, and I don't know what value that's it actually used. Hmm. I should have 
sure what value that they use. But it's really not what I wanted. So you want to do element by element calculations, you just have to remember to put a little dot there and then it will do that. Okay? All right. So that teaches you something about S functions, hopefully. And we'll be using those um, throughout the class. And in particular, the homework. So now, so real quick, with the homework solutions, my TA seemed to have lost all the solutions. But I'm smart enough now not to trust the TA, so I have other copies, but they're all in So we have to compile all these in a big pile of copy, and then we'll get them as soon as possible. But I, they were supposed to have them, but they lost them. OK. Um, and so we'll post the solutions for the first two homeworks. And then a week from today, that first MATLAB homework is due. It's posted no, already. It'll we'll be doing something like this. <laughs> and um, you can work with another person if you want to. It's better for grading it as well, because there's less of them to grade. And it's also fun to work with people. People are fun, right? So find a friend and work with them.